intern, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your embarrassing break smoothie. And may I just say that I have now produced one of the most homely and yet ingenious lemming tunnels ever to have been created. So it took a lot of finagling and in the end I did have to make an elevated path. But now we go up and now we go. Well, everyone else can go down. I apparently cannot go down, but see everybody else up, down, peering at the lemmings. Up, up. Okay, he's having trouble going up too. Why are we having trouble going up? Ugh! I thought I had this. There we go. Up. Come on, sir. You can do it too. You can do it too. If I could do it, you can do it. Up, up. Oh, what is blocking us? My gosh. Is he going to do it? Is he going to figure out a way to up? I'm sorry, sir. What about you? Ma'am, can you figure out the up? We'll see. Ah, uh, it's blockading her too. Okay, hang on, intern. Apparently, we do have a little bit of a traffic jam. <laughs> but as you can see, it is one of the most homely, weirdest little clusters of who knows what in the attempt to be a lemming tunnel running under the pathway. And I've only made the second area, but man, you know when you get a spark of inspiration and genius and you're like, I'm just going to go for it. Well, that's how I felt about this and it's kicking my bum a little bit, but we're going to figure this out. So let's dive under the, the bridge. So it looks like they're having trouble where the fence shows up. So let's try removing the fencing. Okay, gently, gently. And then I think that's the exact spot where I kept running into trouble over here. So I tried removing the fencing. Let's jump over here. I know, ma'am, I'd be upset if even the ramps don't work. Oh, oh the ramp works now. <gasps> I could just walk up and down this thing all day long, intern. Isn't that silly? That's what I mean. Sometimes you just get a spark of genius, an idea that just boils up inside of your mind and you have to pursue it. And I'm up, 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 up. All right, we're going to figure this out. I'm going to get you, you little fence. I'm going to get you. All right, in turn. And then we're going to... Oh, we're dealing with the weird boulder. I'm on to you, weird boulder. So we can't move that weird little spot right there. But let's see. Let's try removing this and this. And you know what we're going to try doing? We're going to try the ultrasonic... Uh, or actually, yeah. We're going to try the ultrasonic underground invisible fencey. Fence, fence. That won't let the lemmings go past it. And let's see what happens. Can we do this? Man, this area is so ugly. Look at this. We've got like this stone, this stone, this stone, this sand, this bump in the road. Ooh, and the timber wolves are growing up. Ah, and it blocks us completely. <gasps> and the Spix macaws are getting pregnant. Yay. All right. We're going to figure this out in turn. Don't you worry. Okay. Okay, got those invisible fences out of the way. And now we're going to have to figure out how to encourage the lemmings to come down here. Uh, can we do this? I don't know if the lemmings will be able to make it, though. Maybe some ingenious lemming will be able to climb over that? I am not sure. Alright, let's see if we can climb over it. Alright, and up. <gasps> and down! And it's pathway victory! Whoops! And the red-eyed tree frog is unable to reach the food dish with water. Well, we definitely have to fix that because food dish with water essentially important. There we go. Are they feeling better? Have they been using the elevated nest box? Need for privacy is pressing, but they're thirsty right now. What about you? She's feeling okay, so their, their need for privacy has gone down, either from sleeping in the shade or from the little nest box. I do have a limbing emergency going on, my beloved frog, so let me see if sh what she does after drinking the water from this dish. How'd, how'd it go? You doing okay? Oh, look at this little one. I love these. Oh, she's pooping. Okay, well, we'll come back later. Banana Brains 2 is really thirsty. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Banana Brains 2! How did you get out? How did you two get out? They managed to, like, spring the hatch. They managed to slip out of the, the aviary. Oh, my gosh. That can't happen. These There's only, like, 120 of these birds left in the entire world. We've got to really keep on top of them. This guy, this guy is going to stay right in here, and he's going to, aha, that's how he got out. All right, I'll fix that later. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's come back over here. 
Uh, I wonder if the livings can traverse their new tunnel. I don't know, but we're going to try moving some of the livings over into this area so they at least have the tunnel option. I hope they will utilize it. Um, not sure if they can. I'm gonna be honest, not sure if they actually can. Or, aha, it just occurred to me, intern. We need to make sure they can use that tunnel, right? So, oh, I'm sorry. I know we need to be working on the panda area, and I know we need to be doing everything else. It's just so, like, this is so challenging. Trying out new architecture. I've been watching Ben build, and it just inspires me to take risks. Very, very horrible risks. <laughs> so let's go ahead, and we're going to expand this pathway a little bit. Okay, come over here, come over here. There we go. And now we're going to make the ramp come down from over here. Oh, uh -huh. what do we think about that? And hopefully we can walk up and down that area without disturbing the fencing the lemmings need so they can wiggle through here. All right, let's try this again. And we'll make it look nice, don't worry. I know it looks terrible right now. And up, and down, victory! Yes, okay. So now we have the new lemming area marked off. Hopefully the little lemmings, we're gonna have to get like a, a lemming to help us uh, experiment. Oh my gosh, you just can't see them for anything. I see branches, which are empty, what? We have a zookeeper, Lee, Lee the lemming. Can you help us? Lee, oh, there you are, Razor. All right, let's take Razor. She's going to be our our little test lemming. You're a very brave lemming, Razor. All right, and we are going to make sure that you've got the right little tundra. There we go. So they've got a whole secondary area since the other area was getting a little bit small for that many lemmings. There you go, guys. See, you can walk down here. You've got all this area. And then... Uh, we're going to dig around for some more bushes that are more than just these ones because I don't feel that they have enough broom. Um, and we're also going to do some rocks. And eh, they're okay. I want to keep more of the, the low-growing foods that they would tend to eat. And I need some bushes, like some proper bushes. Do I, did I put bushes over here? No. See, we need more bushes because those are going to make the lemmings feel pretty safe. And just in case a hawk happens to be flying overhead. That's kind of a risk with these small rodents <laughs> that we keep in the zoo. There are hawks. They do fly overhead. All right, so let's see if we can find something that just looks nice. Ooh, that's alpine sea holly. That looks nice. But I'm talking more like bush, bush in turn. And you and I have done so much work inside of... The amazing greenhouses. I love the greenhouses we work with. They're just fantastic. Phenomenal. Let's see. Bush, 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 bush. No, no, no. That's jungly. That's ferny. That's royal ferny. That's a king bun. Oh, I love the mushrooms. Okay, okay. I'm I'm being serious now, intern. Alright, let's see. My gosh, I really hope this pathway isn't some horrific mistake. Of, of doom and awfulness, but we do need to do more work at just making this zoo look nicer. It's been very, very much thrown together. Last minute, uh, okay, we're gonna have to come over to the trees for the bushes, I think. Last minute, kind of, kind of just because we had animals thrown at us and we had to move quickly. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, that's a nice tree. That's a very nice tree indeed. Oh, need young cedar tree. That actually would go quite well in this biome, believe it or not. It is uh, your your alpine biome sort of thing. Ooh, look at that. It even comes with a little cluster of snow under it. Oh, that's awesome. I want more snow clusters. So we'll do like a little, little cedar. There, a nice little cedar collection. Kind of spread them out a little bit so that the animals can get between all of the cedars. And we'll add a couple in here. Kind of behind that and kind of over here oh people might be able to reach out and touch the branches i'm totally fine with that let people really experience what it feels like to interact with the wildlife uh are those all the trees let's see alpine let's see we've got Ooh, that's a nice log that's a nice lemming log don't you think i think that's a beautiful lemming log i think they would love it we're gonna put it right here because that's perfect for clamoring on that's perfect for hiding in 
Oh, the lemmings are gonna love that. Ooh, the Mediterranean cypress tree. Beautiful, and evergreen oak. That is lovely. I'm actually gonna put that right over here to kind of make a nice little hiding nook where they can scurry back there. They can feel like they're out of the way. And I think that's good on the big trees. In fact, actually, I think I'm gonna remove, uh, I'm gonna remove a couple of these to make more room because they are ground dwelling. And then we're gonna put some mountain pines. This is actually what I was looking for all along. Some mountain pines up along the edges. Provide a little bit of cover for them. Kind of clustered. Okay, let's see. And then maybe one mountain pine right over here. There. And then we're gonna also put some mountain pines over here so that they can appreciate and enjoy just a little bit, little bit more safety. There, now the Arctic moss. An important part of their diet, I do believe. It's kind of amazing because the lichen is almost completely what makes up the diet of our caribou, our barren ground caribou. And I think that's very interesting because I don't really look at moss myself and go, yes, that could support a four, four legged hooved animal completely as far as diet goes, but they manage it somehow. All right, and then we'll spread some flowers about in the corners. Nice little naturalistic spread of flowers. Ooh, and then these, these are so lovely. Just a few sprinkles of these in some places. Oh, that's looking nice. Oh, enter and see what we can do when we just have like a little bit of breathing room. Some diamond leaf willow to kind of touch it off in the corners. Let's see. Um, yes, and maybe one over here. You may wonder why I take so long with plants, but that should make our lemmings very happy. So that's really going to cover a lot. I see you, Razor. That's really going to cover uh, their, sh their sense of security. That's gonna cover their sense of places where they can forge for food. And now what we need to do is actually put some of that food into their exhibit. Oh, lemming experiment almost complete. Oh, see, there's some roots. So let's go ahead and we're going to hide these roots inside of the plants so they can kind of try to initiate that natural forging instinct to dig around in the plants. And we'll do the same thing over here to add more food variety. And then we're going to go under these leaves. So under the leaves over here and put some branches out. We're going to spread multiple food sources because the lemmings seem to be very territorial with one another. A lot of infighting. And I'm hoping that spreading out the food and water sources will prevent them from fighting as much as they have. Also, oh my gosh, look at this. We can hide the lettuce in their log. We'll have to see if they can reach that okay. Oh man, took away all my, my pretty plants. No, come back, Arctic moss. There, that's better. And then, of course, we're going to discreetly hide some of the uh, little water sources for the lemmings. Kind of inside the plants, just so that people don't really see them, but they're there for the lemmings. No! Dang it! Flower! Hopefully they can reach that water source. Alright, Razor. You're a testing girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you down in the smack dab center of it. And jump down here with you. Whoa! All the dust from the greenhouse. And what do you think, Razor? It's a new lemming paradise. Oh, she's cute. Look at how cute she is. All right, let's see where she's going. Is she headed for the branches? And the beavers are giving birth again. Oh my goodness, they're just so prolific, having babies left and right. And yes, I know you're very old, Lemming Nomer, but that doesn't mean any more special, like, oh, who am I kidding? I'll give her some clams. Razor? 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 Razor, aha. Razor! Look at her! Look at her just kind of snuggled down. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's just sort of hiding in the leaves. Oh, she's happy! Alright, I think we have laser, or laser, razor approval of the limbing area. So, that's done, and she's drinking from the water, no problem. So let's see if the lemmings can actually traverse the tunnel, the lemming tunnel. So the trials of the lemming tunnel. Emily, would you like to be another participant? She's gonna go groom Leo, actually. She's a little bit busy. 
Uh, meanwhile, Jellybean is running from Brian. So let's have Jellybean learn. Oh, Brian dislikes being in a smelly exhibit. Well, Brian, come over here. And let's see what he does if we put him right in the center. Where does Brian go? I feel like we're conducting some sort of rat maze experiment. Which, in a way, we are. <gasps> and the Spix McCalls are laying eggs! Yes! That's so exciting. Brian! Yawning. Okay, he's just standing. Yawning. Brian. Okay, he's standing again. Here's another one. Leo. He's just kind of chilling. Do you want to... What if I put you over here? Hmm? Alright, now what you gonna do, Brian? Can they not figure out the tunnel? What if I put you over here? Huh? Are you frozen with indecision? What if I put you over here? Oh, who's this? Is this Razor? Look at Razor. She's just... Okay, now Brian's moving around. He's looking at the roots. All right, that's Brian. This is Leo. Wow. Now he's standing. I guess he doesn't have need of much. All right, Brian, you're going to be our test our test uh, lemming. I'm going to put you right here and I'll check on you in just a minute. So my goodness. All right, we'll check in on Brian in just a second, because I'm, I'm curious. And Spixmacaw25 has just given birth. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and put this balloon down in front of the aviary to celebrate. This is a big deal. These Spixmacaws are exceptionally rare. So are the hourglass dolphins. Hopefully. Whoa! No, come back, balloon. I want to. So hopefully what we can do is we can build a conservation agency pretty soon. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on in the Spix Macaws area. <gasps> is that the egg? I think this is the egg! The very rare, rare egg! Oh, how exciting! And people are happy. Let's go ahead and get them their binoculars in here so that they can see better inside of our exhibits and they can really appreciate the wonders of having such rare creatures. I don't think I can just like do binoculars, so let's try this again. Actually, they're researchable, right? Aha! We did it! Yay, I found it! Let's get some paradise binoculars going. Ooh, common seahorses? That would be nice. And the common octopus! Let's actually snag those guys. Ah, uh, da 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 Ooh! A bonsai pine! I love bonsai! And a bonsai maple! Rhino statue! I should probably... Polar bear statue! Oh my gosh! I should probably stop, but it's so exciting to see so many choices. Gazebos! We could make gazebos for our people. <gasps> and drinking fountains! We should probably put a drinking fountain. Ooh, and the paradise fountain. Okay, I'm, I, I will stop. I will stop in turn. Okay, 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 okay. And a music rock. Which is a good thing. Uh, there's lots of music rocks, actually. So, let's see. How are the binoculars going? Clover has just given birth. And Fern Shadow is pregnant! Yes! Fern Shadow, who have you chosen as your new mate? Oh, and she's stuck on something. Let's get down here and see what she's stuck on. Ooh. The tree? And there's lots of bird poop. We're cleaning it up. Oh, I don't think... I don't know if they can get, like, through this area right here. So, hang on. Okay, no one's getting stuck back here. My zookeeper's like, I can't get in where I need to. So, I think we'll put a second gate in. And that should solve the issues. So, where's my gate? <laughs> Atlantic puffins. The puffins I need to check on. All right, we're there. We go. That should that should fix it so that everyone can take care of what we need to there. All right, so let's check in on Brian. A little our little test lemming. Yay! And research for things is starting to be complete. <gasps> A lemming is moving. Do you see that? I see a moving lemming! Brian is play chasing Leo from way over here. Is he is he climbing over there? Oh, come on, Brian. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Come on, little guy. He's sniffing and yawning. Well, we're just gonna have to keep checking on Brian. <laughs> Because I don't know, I don't know how the test is going. But we've got a gazebo coming in. I need to replace the slide. Uh, let's just say a disaster happened while I was trying to build 
this limbing tunnel trial. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to decorate around this little raised platform with these rocks and the various tundra and alpine plants. So it won't look bad. Oh, and the guests really seem to enjoy this raised platform to look at the lemmings. So that's pretty nice. We might redo the other half of the lemming exhibit so that it matches this one a little bit more because I really like how that looks. So yeah, we're going to put down a bunch of the plants and just make this look very nice so you don't see these little dips and drop-offs. And we're going to put down a little gift store right here. So, And we're probably going to put down another path that comes over here to look at who knows what. Uh, slowly but surely, we're making this look like less of a disaster area in turn, and that's a very good thing. So next up, I think we will try to uh, make this look a lot nicer, and we're going to celebrate Fern Shadow laying another egg! Let's watch this! Oh my gosh, Spix Macaws, they're so rare! I didn't even get to see who, who she's picked as her mate either. Fern Shadow, where are you? We need to zoom in! Fern Shadow, we need to, we need to find you! Okay, where are you? down on the ground. Burn Shadow? Is that you? Ooh, there's some birds back here eating. I managed to accidentally pop myself out. What's going on over here? Are there things in my way? Who's in my way? Tree, are you in my way? Maybe there's too many trees. I'm gonna have to remove that. Let's see if that works. No? Oh, I think I'm outside the path. That's like... Okay, there we go. Oh, I think this is Fern Shadow. Everyone's giving birth. There's so many. Ah! Why are you on land? You silly, you silly catfish. And now you're sick and I need to take care of you. And Fern Shadow's going to lay an egg. But that's okay. Oh, and our beavers. I need to see if we can get our beavers. There you go, Bubbly. I, I need to see if I can get our beavers. Uh, a new area. Fern Shadow, have you laid an egg yet? I don't know. I, I might have missed it. I think we may have missed it. Oliver can't reach this food dish. All right, well, then I'm going to scoot it over here for you, Oliver. All right, uh, lemon, barren ground caribou just gave birth. Clover just recently gave birth, too. Marzipan has as well, so we need to go through and check on her babies. And Fern Shadow, did you lay your egg? She has laid her egg! It is right over here somewhere! Oh! That's a, that's a mushroom, never mind. <laughs> I thought I saw her egg. I got all excited. Oh, these mushrooms are tricking me! All right, we probably have to expand their aviary, actually, because they're breeding at a wonderfully fast rate. Ah, so that's wonderful. I'm actually excited about that. In fact, I think we will. I think I will expand the aviary, um, maybe in, like, an L shape, like this. So we'll think about that, too, in turn. But my gosh, my gosh, I feel like we're finally starting to get a little bit of a handle on our quest zoo, which is wonderful, because once we spruce it up a bit more and this chaos goes away... Look at everybody! They're so excited about watching the lemmings from that, that spot. Oh no, and the catfish is still sick. Alright, well we've got a lot to do. And there you go, Bubby. And once we, we take care of all of these things, I have some very exciting news for the new quest that we're going to be going on. Oh, and Jacob looks out of place in its habitat. Excuse you, sir! I need to put down an educator over here so that he knows, like, <laughs> Jellybean and Jacob are chasing each other around. Oh, I need to put down an educator so they can educate him on what proper lemming care is actually like. So, whew, it's been a busy day in turn, but at least our little baby project is working out. Jellybean does not look out of place in its habitat. I'm putting down an educational, like, teacher so that people will stop fussing about that. Oh my gosh. And then I will see you tomorrow, intern. So bye-bye.